Hi folks, Chuck McKay here, and I'm here with Ms. Tavino, and we're uh, meeting with our students this week. There's some great things going on, but we first we wanted to show you the academic decathlon cabinet, all these wonderful medals. We'll be talking about how they won, and we'll tell you all about that but there's some great things going on this week, including theater. Absolutely, so I mean, how impressive is this cabinet? Totally wonderful to see the accomplishments of our students. We are actually in the hallway at the high school yep. and we can hear our cast rehearsing from nine to five. Right. I'm gonna be speaking to our students and talking to the cast about the show. It's great fun, a lot of comedic timing that happens in this particular production. Lots of great music and we really hope to see you coming out this weekend. We've got shows Thursday, Friday and Saturday night up here at Verdon High School. We're going to talk a lot about spring and all the great things that are happening, but we wanted to talk about one thing that happened in the winter. So I'm going to interview Kyle Hayes, who won the gold medal for a state champion uh, in skiing, and we'll, we'll see what he has to say as well. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Karen Davino. I'm the superintendent of schools here in Vernon, and I am so excited to be with four of our cast members for 9 to 5, the musical that will go up this weekend here at Vernon Township High School. We are, of course, on the set of 9 to 5. I'm so excited to hear a little bit more about the cast and about the musical. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the show. How is this different maybe from some other shows that you've performed in? I know we have a senior, two juniors, and a sophomore, right? So um, you're experienced thespians, you've been on the stage quite a bit. So how does this show compare to maybe some of the others that you've put up in the past? Um, so I just do, I focus basically on musical theater. I don't do the fall dramas. Okay. So for me, like I know only our musical shows, and this show is, I feel like a little bit different because it's more as a, a serious like life aspect where real characters instead of like fictional characters with young Frankenstein we right like, in a different time but this and is even Shrek the musical the right. year prior yeah. fiction again really. was like yes. fairy tale totally. creatures so for yeah. me it's different to go from being like my freshman year I played like the dragon and Captain Hook and now I'm an <laughs> the lady in an office so it's like two different sets of theater which and is really nice and this is kind of like a comedy right I mean I said I remember the movie I don't know the play how hard is it to work on your comedic timing and understanding how the audience responds to you. Like, is that something that you work on with Miss Macaloni? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, with comedic timing, it's so hard because we know the jokes, so um, we get so comfortable <laughs> with them that we forget that, like, we have to give things a certain amount of time to like settle in yes. or yeah. deliver a line slower so that the audience can really pick up on it. So um, comedic timing is definitely a crucial element of the show, I would say. Um, but it's so much fun to even work to get that timing because we are rehearsing scenes that are so fun and lines that yeah. are great laugh lines. You gotta lines. keep a straight face. Like some <laughs> of the lines, you, like your character's just not supposed to realize it's funny. It's like Nate right. will say something and your, my character's like, Boy, and like inside, I want to laugh, but you can't. And that's what makes it funny to the audience, too, because when your character doesn't get it, right? When your character's like really straight, the audience is like, oh my God, I can't believe she didn't get it, you know? Mm -hmm. So, what about, um, you know, we were talking just a little bit. I know the show goes up this week Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. Wednesday is for seniors in the afternoon, which is wonderful. I hope that uh, if we have senior citizens watching, perhaps grandparents of some of our uh, students here and in the district, uh, Wednesday at 4 o'clock, I think, right, is when we have an open house for our senior citizens. And then, of course, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If you haven't gotten tickets, please do so because they go quickly. Talk to me a little bit about just the, the appeal of the stage. I'm, I'm just so excited to hear that young people like you, and I, I so admire the ability to get up and perform because you get the jitters, right? We get that <laughs> rush of adrenaline before we perform. So, so tell me maybe a little bit about what you love. You're a sophomore, right? Yeah. So tell me a little about why, what, what you love about theater, especially being kind of a younger person on the mm -hmm. cast of the high school. And we have audience members, I hope, of young children, maybe at Rolling Hills or at Lounsbury, who are thinking that this might be something they want to do when they get up to the high school. So talk to me a little bit about the appeal of theater. Well, I feel that it's... It's very much a way to express yourself, and I feel I'm, 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 I feel like I'm a very shy person off the stage, <laughs> but on the stage I'm very comfortable, which sounds insane. You wouldn't insane. recognize no. her. Wow. Like, it's absolutely crazy. crazy. Yeah, I'm so like even right now I'm a little bit like nervous. I'm like, <laughs> um, like I just um, like, but like on the stage I just feel like it's kind of like it's just you kind of you're in your own world and you get to you know make people feel something, and I just really love that. 
I love that too. Feeling something is so important, you know, especially we get so detached from everything I think with social media and YouTube and all the things that are out there. It's important to have that human connection. Talk to me a little bit about your character. I want to know about your character, Mr. Hart, right? Yes. Yeah, so tell us, tell the audience about your character. Yeah. Yes. And, and why he's likable or not likable as a character. So well, tell us a little bit about him. My character is, um, he's this very in entitled person. Yes. Who, um, he's this man who likes to, he, he was just promoted to like, like the big boss, you know? So he's very like, I can do whatever I want, I can do it confidently, and mm. I can take what I want. And because of that, he harasses all of these women oh, no. in especially different ways. Yes. Yeah, especially <laughs> That's <me>. terrible. <laughs> and um, so it was, it's kind of difficult to like try to get into that character because these are my friends. Like, yeah. I love them <laughs> so much. Like, these are some of my closest friends. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't say these oh, things to, to these. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say these things to like these lovely young women, but. Yeah. You know, so I think he's like, he's just a very entitled person and he's like, the way my mom described it. My mom said <laughs> he thinks he's Elvis, but he's like this he's really not. like old fat grease ball yeah. kind of person. Okay, yeah. mom always knows. Mom, yeah. That's right. Yep. Yeah, Heavy mom. you know, and you know what? And I mean, I think you know the great part about it is that look, every show that you've done here sends a message. I've had the opportunity to see Up the Down Scare Staircase, a straight show in the fall, which was excellent. I know the productions that you've done here under uh, Ms. Macaloni are, are just second to none. Um, the theater department here at Vernon High School is incredibly reputable. Uh, you've done amazing shows, and I know that this one will be exactly the same. I can't wait to see it. I am a big fan of musicals. I prefer them to straight shows, but I love straight shows as well. So we're really excited. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, please don't forget. You don't want to miss out. We're talking Thursday, Friday, and Saturday here at Vernon Township High School. And I think the link is available on our, on our webpage. So please check that out. And uh, please come support our cast. They're doing a wonderful job. All right. Uh, thanks to those folks that are in the play this weekend. And thanks to Mr. Vino for a great conversation with them. Mr. Friedhoff, uh, Tim Friedhoff, who is married to Sandy Friedhoff, um, who teaches at Lounsbury Hollow, came in and volunteered his time on Friday to play the bagpipes to get the kids in the mood for St. Patrick's Day. Tim's an old friend of mine. Um, we grew up in Wayne together, and uh, he is a fine, fine man. So, Tim, thank you very much. Nine to five, what a way to make a living. Uh, folks, here's all the information about the play. Uh, congratulations in advance to Blake and Haley and Raina and Nathan uh, for the, the major parts uh, on the show, but also to everyone else who is doing a great job being part of this wonderful production. Um, $15 at the door for uh, adults, um, and at the website you can get them for $12. Showtimes are Thursday, March 21st at 7, Friday and Saturday are 7.30. Please come out, come see this great play. Uh, John signed with Loyola. Congratulations to him. Uh, uh, you see him with uh, Mr. Saganik, his coach, and of course the administration and his parents. Congratulations, John. And Allie signed with Ramapo. And of course there's her parents, proud parents, um, and the administration and her coach, uh, wonderful job to both of our athletes who um, signed with uh, sports programs at these schools. Paul Sadek was here today at Cedar Mountain. He's the author of Monster Needs Your Vote and Other Monster Stories, and he presented to the Cedar Mountain students. Uh, it was a great time. Ms. Davino was there with Ms. Gephardt, uh, and the students asked questions from the perspective of being readers and writers, and what does it mean to be an author, and what does it mean to have great stories? Mountain Creek came to Vernon Township High School graphic design students, and they were looking at new logos. So Jackie O'Brien graduated in 17, and Lindsay Howland graduated in 08. And of course, the two of them were looking at what Joe Cox had designed uh, for a new Mountain Creek um, logo. Lounsbury Hollow Variety Show happened this past week. It was a great night. Uh, there's the final number. Now, here's the story about the final number. There are, I believe, a couple of teachers dancing on that stage with the students, and I think it might have been a dare, uh, especially with Mr. Down. But I'm not sure about this. You're going to have to find out because the question is, in the final number, who's up there dancing at Lounsbury? The Vernon Township Academic Decathlon team, as you saw in the intro, 
created uh, a firestorm of medals, um, and we're just so proud of them. Christian Fieldhouse led the way with four medals and an honorable mention. He had a bronze in science, a silver in social sciences, a silver in music, a bronze in literature, and an honorable mention in economics. Sam DuPont, uh, following in his stead, a bronze in speech and an honorable mention in essay. Dave Rusnak, of course, received honorable mention in the interview. Shane Brennan, a silver in interview. Peter Fetz, silver in math. Dan McKeon, a bronze in math, and Katie Hertz, a bronze in speech. And that's where we were standing in front of the, the uh, cabinet there uh, at the high school because we're just so proud of the academic decathlon team. And I do have to say to the decathlon members, I love your posters around the high school. The kiss one cracks me up. Walnut Ridge went skiing. So all of our little guys got a ski lesson uh, uh, last week as the snow was still on the mountain. So these are some wonderful pictures from our smallest group, our pre-K uh, uh, group of students. And as you can see, they're having great fun in the snow. Okay, here's some special people. Wesley Sanders, All-State Symphonic Band, as a freshman. I don't know if that's a record, but it certainly seems like it would be. Congratulations, Wesley. And, of course, Matthew Chiruka, bass clarinet, all-state wind ensemble. Uh, couldn't be more proud of both of you. Uh, Matthew, I want to um, wish you the best of luck if you decide to go to the Mason Gross School of Music at Rutgers University. Uh, I think you could find no better program um, uh, on the East Coast than what they have at Mason Gross. And, of course, Wesley, you have qualified for an addition to the all-national band our thoughts and hopes are with you. We wish you the best of luck, young man. Lounsbury Hollow's future chef competition is this Wednesday, March 27th at 3.30. Take a look at these great kids and you'll see the t-shirt on the table that they will be wearing. They'll all have their t-shirts on and they will also have uh, chef hats on and they'll be cooking for judges. And it will be a, a time where they're doing all the cooking and then the judges will make a judgment and there'll be medals awarded. So if you're interested in coming seeing Lounsbury Hollow's future chef competition, uh, know that Luca, Caitlin, Casey, Isabella, Tessa, Caitlin, Peyton, and Katie Wood will be there uh, cooking away. So um, I want to wish all of them uh, good luck. I hope that they're making some great food because I think I'm slated to be a judge. So I want to wish them all the best of luck uh, at this wonderful competition. I think we missed somebody in the picture, um, and I apologize, but I just wanted to make sure we got this picture out to everybody. All right, now you talk about pride. Here is the Vernon High School Marching Band leading the parade. That's right, leading the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York City on Saturday. What a incredible, incredible honor. So these are some great shots uh, from Fifth Avenue. And you can, as you can see, um, what a great, great honor this has been for our high school. So congratulations to all the band members all the, the music teachers uh, and of course the parents who support uh, this program completely. We're very proud uh, to be connected with the Vernon Marching Band. Last night was Meet the Coaches Night um, at the high school. I want to thank Mr. Foley for his great work on this. All the coaches got together with their students um, and had a nice conversation saying let's get started with the spring season. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like spring Although I would argue this Saturday and Sunday, we had that first sense that spring was here. And let's hope that our kids have nice clean fields to play on with no snow uh, and tracks to run on with no snow so that they can enjoy the best of athletic competitions. Shark Tank Hackathon is happening March 29th and 30th. This year, we're gonna have it at Vernon Township High School. I wanna thank the Vernon Educational Foundation for their sponsorship. Uh, Shark Tank will be uh, at 7 o'clock. It'll be Glen Meadow students, and what will happen is they're going to uh, sit in front of a group of sharks, uh, judges, and they're going to discuss the projects that they have created. The judges will then decide uh, which one they want to adopt as a business. And then at 8.30, the hackathon begins, and it's an overnight event um, for the high school kids. They're on different teams. Um, and they will be uh, given a challenge, and uh, what they do is they have to solve that challenge or come up with solutions. And finally, please remember, 9 to 5, the musical, March 21st, March 22nd, and March 23rd. There are the times, and there's the way to get tickets. All right.
Okay, so there's some terrific news going on uh, throughout the school district, but I really wanted to highlight and spotlight somebody who is phenomenal. I'm with Kyle Hayes, and Kyle Hayes is now our state ski champion, uh, boys uh, champion, and uh, we want to talk a little bit about this amazing, amazing athlete. So, Kyle, tell us a little bit about the competition that you had. Um, it there's multiple events. There's both GS and slalom, and we have to do one run in GS and one run in slalom, and then they combine the both times, mm -hmm. and whoever has the fastest combined time is the overall winner for this state. Is there one race that you prefer over the other? I prefer slalom. I just why is that? It's a lot tighter, a lot more quick feet, and right. it's just a lot more technique, and I've always loved that. Now with skiing, it's mostly split second times, right? Yes, it comes down to a hundredth of a second at a wow. time. Wow, yeah. all right. And did you know right away that you had won, or did it take a while to compute it all and, and figure out whether you were the winner or not? No, it, it's pretty obvious from yeah. the beginning. You can do the math, and the times aren't always final, but most of the times they are, even when you come down the hill. Right. And they have live, live timing up on the internet, so you can actually go onto a website and look up the live timing and see where you are. And, no kidding. Yeah. All right. Now, um, it's cold out there. Of course, everybody's watching you. What are some of the concerns you have when you're preparing for a race? Um, the condition of the course, we get an inspection before we run down the course and we just have our courses, our coaches radioing up to us, telling us how the course is, where there's ruts, where there's not, where mm -hmm. you can kind of let the skis run and go faster. Right. And that's where we're mostly comes. And the coach, the coaches go through this with you before the race? Uh, we inspect the course ourselves, and they kind of just let us know how the course is running. Okay. Now, is there an advantage? Um, a home field advantage, if you will, to be a skier from Vernon? Not really, because all of the teams uh, kind of train at Mountain Creek. At Mountain Creek, Creek. Yeah, right. so they all know the hill. And even if you don't train out of that hill, the conditions are always different, so it's kind of hard to... Uh, Say to that prepare, you have, right? Yeah, yeah. prepare and yeah. say that you have an advantage to right. you from the whole mountain. Yeah, good, good. All right, and Kyle, what happens when you won? Um, there's a podium. We had a picture of you last week in the podcast. Um, do they play a song? Do they give you a... How, do they, how does it work? Uh, it's kind of usual. They call up the girls' top three and then right. the boys' top three. And you kind of uh -huh. just go up, take your medal. They, they put a medal around your yes, neck, they put it like the Olympics, neck, right? And then you go up on the podium and they take pictures and then you go down. It's pretty... Common, normal. Well, your parents must have been there and been very proud of you. Uh, yes, yes they were of course. Very They're of course. very supportive of me. They send you a whole bunch of camps outside of uh, high school. I was actually just in Austria at the beginning of the season doing a ski camp out. Okay, now I want to be a skier. Okay, <laughs> just saying. Right, Austria. That's fantastic. Yes. It was it was my first time skiing out of the country, and it was amazing. Good. Where in Austria? Uh, Hindertux. Oh, fantastic. Good, good. And there's more competitions going on, right? Outside of school? Uh, yes. This weekend I'm actually going up to finals for USSA skiing. Mm -hmm. And that's basically the same. You do races in New Jersey and then uh, they add up all your points at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. And whoever's at the top, the, I think it's pretty sure it's like top 16 go up to these finals. Good. Well, on behalf of the Board of Ed, and Miss Davino, we just want to say how proud we are of you and congratulations. Thank you. All right, outstanding. Thank you. All right, so we got another great week. I want to talk a little bit about what's coming on on Wednesday. There's a future chef competition happening at Lounsbury Hollow. Please come out. If you go into Lounsbury Hollow, it's in the upstairs cafeteria. We have eight or nine contestants. They're all going to be cooking. There's going to be great food and judging. So if you have free time, Come and join us. And I think that's Wednesday right after school. Wednesday right after school, 3.30. Right? Yep. And then don't forget, if you are the parent of a youngster, of a kindergartner, we have kindergarten registration the first week in April at Cedar Mountain. So it's really important that we get your students here and excited about being a future Viking. It's going to be great. Come join us.